the State Warriors as they come on home. They, they got to get ready for the Mavericks twice, the Houston Rockets, who are getting blown out by the Dallas Mavericks. But it was all about getting Steph Curry. We showed you guys the numbers earlier today post All-Star break, shooting 34.5% from the three-point line, just 40% from the floor. Numbers down to 22 points per game, 4.5 rebounds, 4.5 assists. Now, I sound silly here because those are All-Star numbers. We're just not accustomed to that because Steph Curry usually averages around 28, 29. We'll use back up there today in San Antonio, scoring a team-high 33 points. Seven made threes, Mully. 12 of 23. Looked like he was in a good rhythm. Best he shot the ball in weeks. Yeah, we talked post-game, uh, uh, Festus and Bonte about when the, when the other players are really aggressive it puts a lot more pressure on San Antonio's defense to not overload on Steph so the fact that Draymond Green was so aggressive um, Clay Thompson got it going late Pajemski off the bench more plays for the San Antonio Spurs to account for and I just thought overall that the defense in third quarter uh, unleashed there's some fast break points and much easier high quality shots for Steph. I love the fact that Steph is still going to attack the paint, no matter who is in the middle right there. You have a 7-4 big man, and, and Steph is still going to try and see what he can get away with. This game tonight was incredible by Steph. Played a great floor game. Obviously, he's going to score, but it is predicted, like Chris Mullin just said, it is predicted his, some of his numbers lately mm -hmm. on how aggressive the other guys are because you give him a floor to play with. If you have... If, you, if, if the other guys are struggling or not moving the ball and not being aggressive and not trying to score, then the defense can double up. They can tr send three guys to Steph. They can throw everything at Steph. But when Draymond's being aggressive, mm -hmm. now Victor Wimbanyama can't help over as much anymore. And then he can also get those split cuts, those split actions. I thought it was a great game by Steph. I thought he was a great facilitator and got the yeah. other guys going as well. And look, Draymond was phenomenal, and especially in that third quarter. And it wasn't just his scoring or his assisting or his steals. I thought the pace of play picked mm -hmm. up. If you look all of a sudden, the Warriors have 92 field goal attempts. Sounds like a small thing, but if you go from 84 to 92, yep. not only the more, obviously, more shots, but the pace of play is more to the style. And then Steph Curry gets 23 field, field goal attempts and 15 uh, three-point attempts. Yeah, that is a key. Draymond had that pace move. Curry had that pace move. He was dropping dimes left to right. The Warriors finished with 34 assists. But you heard Draymond Green in a post-game interview talk about Victor and Wimbayama. And look, I don't know if he's a top 20 player right now, but I know he may turn out to be a top 10 player we've ever seen. This kid is special. He's just scratching the surface here, folks. 32 points, 10 to 22 from the floor. I always ask Fezzi Pell, what do you do against a guy like this? He's 7'4". He can hit the floater. He can hit the three. He can grab rebounds. He blocks shots. He intimidates you. He changes your shots. This kid is going to be special, Fezzi. Vonte, you know what's crazy about Victor Wembeyama? Is every time I watch him play, he's better than the time before. At 7-4, with the handles that he has, the ability to bring the ball up the court, the ability to shoot threes, he has a dog in him like you see right here. A little payback for TJD for the last game, dunking on him. Mm. And so these are all the things, all the intangibles that you think about when you think of a great player. That next step for him, especially when you surround him with great talent, I love to see a big man that comes out there and plays hard. He runs the floor like he really wants yep. it. He wants to get better. You can hear it in his post-game interview saying, we, our goal right now as a young team is to continue to get better. And we're, we're really measuring ourselves based on who we were yesterday. And to continue to get better like that under the, the, uh, the coaching of Greg Popovich, that's going to be a special guy for, in this league for a long time. Yeah, historic generational talent, no question about that. His skill set is unmatched offensively, defensively, the same. Mm -hmm. uh, and to me, you know, you looked at those numbers, and that's with the entire Warrior defense focused on him. And Fezzi just said it. The thing moving forward is going to be who do they surround him with. Yep. And to me, he's going to be that rare player like a Steph Curry, uh, 50, 40, 90, mm. 60. Wow. wow. 50, 40, 90, 60. Wow. You know what I'm talking about? What's, what's, the, what's the 60? 60 wins. <laughs> that's, what type, that's what type of play. Yeah, you get no, the right no, plays no, around him. You get the right plays around yeah, no him. That's, what, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, he was missing yeah. three guys today. Keldon Johnson, Devin Vassell, and uh, Jeremy Shohan. And still made this a game. You know, one thing I love is last summer, I remember guys talking about Victor Wembanyama before he came into the league, mm -hmm. saying all this ball handling he's doing overseas, he's not going to be able to do it against the huh. more athletic players in the NBA. And you've seen him getting better, gotten better since he got into the NBA. Today he was just playing with the ball. He was at the top of the key. He was coming off ball screens. I love the development of this young man, and it's going to be scary hours in the NBA yeah. <laughs> years to come. What I notice Obviously, his progression and his improvement as the season wears on, but to, to Festus's point, his discretion. 
Mm. He can shoot as many shots as he wants. He doesn't do that. He's, a, he's got great awareness and great shot selection. He can dominate the ball. He doesn't do that. And Greg Popovich moves him all over the floor, so you can't key on him. You know, a lot of young players, you know, you say he's pretty good at everything. This guy's great at everything, <laughs> but still distributes his skill yeah. set for the betterment of the team. Now, a lot of people talk about the city of San Antonio as being a bad city or a place you don't want to live. I'm eager to see how many players sign up to play with Victor Wimbayama mm. because he's going to make the game easier for a lot of people there in San Antonio for many years to come. All right, fellow rookie Brandon Pajewski, don't sleep on him. I thought in the first quarter where the Warriors were sleepwalking. Remember San Antonio went on a 22-5 run in the first quarter. I thought Pods' energy on the glass, pushing the pace, hitting some outside shots was huge for the Golden State Warriors in that first quarter. And he finished with a solid game, 35th game this season, Fezzi Fell, where he scored a double figures. First time he's did it since March 22nd when he did it against Indiana. Bonte, you know how they say energy is contagious? Mm. Well, Paz comes into the game and he just changes the whole feel. His energy is, is, is very palpable. He comes in rebounding, offensive rebounding for a guard. His rebounding is outstanding. He really was able to get the Warriors second chance shots to get some of that offense going there in the second quarter. And, and I love the, the, the hustle. Whenever the ball's on the floor, he's the first one to dive on the floor. People might not think these things are important, but these intangibles are things that help you get second, third possessions to Molly's points to get that extra shot so you can go, go put the ball in the basket. The defense that the Warriors need, the charges, all those things that Pods brings to the game, that's what you need from a young guy. Being able to push the pace, get an re offensive rebound, go sacrifice your body for the betterment of the team. Those are the things that a young guy can do in the league, and Pods is doing a great job with that. Great overall performance. I thought great balance. You know, he shot the, the three-point shot when he was there. Uh, I thought he was out in the break, either handling the ball, running the lanes for layups. And his face, I thought one of the biggest plays was one of his offensive rebounds yeah. for a kickout uh, three-point shot. Yeah, no doubt. He brought a lot of energy there. Again, the Warriors were sleepwalking in that first quarter there. Pods came in and flipped the energy 